Now, you also have a category of problems that are unsolvable, right. yet you have people who think that they solved it. Yeah. You can prove that something's unsolvable, correct? Everyone might have seen in school the quadratic equation. If you have an expression that looks like x squared plus some constant times x plus some constant equals zero, and you want to solve it, it's a systematic way to do it. This is an equation that comes up all the time for engineers. So there exists a formula to solve any cubic equation, but our, our teachers never made us memorize it. It's much longer. But like pure mathematicians for a while were curious, okay, hey, how, how far can we take this? You know, do, can we have a formula that solves any equation where the highest power of x is x to the fourth? And you can. It's an even more monstrous formula. If you tried to write it down in full, it would just fill like an entire page. And between the 1500s, when this was kind of initially being explored with the cubic and everything, up to around the 1800s, people tried, but no one could find a way to answer that. Wait, are you telling me people had these thoughts in the 1500s while others were disemboweling heretics? <laughs> yeah. It's, Th these two things coexisted. It's, it's wild to contrast history of science. The answer ended up being it's literally impossible. If you're trying to write a formula using the usual symbols that we do, plus, minus, times, divide, maybe you allow for roots and things like that. If these are the operations at your disposal, you will literally never be able to write down a formula for degree five or higher. It works up to fourth yeah. order polynomial, yeah. but not fifth. And then suddenly five, it stops.